subscribe to Tech on Arena, and press bell icon, don't miss any future videos. Hey, what's up guys, this is Elson from techonarena.com and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can make a dual boot patcher or multi boot patcher official support for your Android device. That means you don't have to worry that your device has not listed on the dual boot patcher. So you, but if you are facing the same problem then you are on the right place, this tutorial will help you a lot. But this tutorial will be on detail and it will be a bit longer. So let's get started. First thing, you must be on MTK chipset, your device must be running on MTK processor and your device must be rooted. And important thing is Super SU must be working because it is very important for that. Now you need to download these two applications, Quick Reboot Pro and Material Terminal from this Google Play Store. You can download it from there or I will give the link in the description below. Now going further, here you need to make sure that your phone storage or external storage must have free storage of around 3 GB. Yes, because it will take the storage from external storage for a secondary room. So, next thing is you need to have a working custom room for your Android. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate that I am going to use RR V8.4 for my device. It was protected by me. So, it must be working to get it started. And you must have GX and if it has passed, then you can use it. So, other thing is you need to download one zip file, dual boot patcher by Tecno Arena. So, and extract it. After extracting, you will get the interface like this. You will get the dual boot patcher APK and files to add name in the DVP, these two files. So, what we will do now, we will install this dual boot patcher APK. Just install it. It is being installed and after completing its install we will just open it and I will show you that that my device is not okay go to rooms apply all the permission that it need okay uh, I am currently on Anigo 3.5 stock ROM 6.0 now go to this patch zip file and make a try to make a flashable zip file from your custom room let me show you okay now i'm going to do this now here pattern option and you will see the device here you need to choose your device and you will need to search here make sure that your device is listed here if it is listed here then the app is already official for your android if you don't have like mine, mine is GUNEP 5W. If you search here, you will not get. If you don't have your device listed here, then I will. I'm going to show you how to make your device listed over this APK. Okay, now just cancel it. Then just close this application. Okay, just clear this all. Now click on Quick Reboot. Now just click on this recovery, and it will take you to the recovery mode. Just click on it and click on S to get into recovery mode. Okay guys, now we have already been to the team in recovery project that is Studio Blue RP. We are going to flash that two G file from here. So just insert all now click on select storage and click on this micro storage SD card then click on ok now go to the folder dual boot patcher but take on arena.com and click on this files to add device name dvd now first click on this get underscore prop dot zip file and here you can see the add more zips click on that after clicking on that choose the second file patch data dot zip now Click on this reboot after installation complete and just swipe it 
to confirm the flash. I will show you that what happens after flashing this zip file and how does this script work to cache the dual boot pattern to add your device name in the official APK to make it support. So it's rebooting. Yes, you can see that dual boot pattern you has been launched and it is saying it will be booting in 5 seconds. Don't do anything, it will reboot your system itself. Okay guys, I will be back after booting completely. Okay, after flashing those zip file and getting back into your system. Now, just click on file manager and go to phone storage. And scroll where and there you will get a two file name. One is Juni, that is my device, dot YML. If your device is another, it may be different according to your device name. Just click on it and just watch it as a text file. Okay. Just click. Here you can see all your device information that are needed to pass real boot pressure. And this is your GUNI WBW. 5615 and the only and this is the code name of my device and similarly you can see another file info.txt uh, it also contains some name of the files that are required for running bbb so do not delete it now let's jump over the terminal emulator click on it and type here su Okay, then grant the super SU permission and type dbp dot sh then hit enter here it will launch dual boot pressure app here you need to click on this set now the kernel has not been set would you like to set the kernel now it asks then you just click on set now now our kernel is already set now go to settings and cl cl click on this update boot UI you have to click on this this is compulsory okay and here you will see up to date it will help to switch the room from recovery mode or from uh, while we are rebooting we can change from there this is very important so now what we need to do is go to settings okay click on this and click those both files now go to patch zip file now add device add the flashable zip go to your custom room location here i have it now i am going to patch this so now you can see gone p5w is added here but i have shown you before that it the my device was not listed before so I am going to set the partition configuration on external SD slot and make sure that here it is set inter and ID. If you have are going to flash Google Apps, zip file or uh, the ROM patch file then you need to enter the same device ID. I am simply writing here RR. Just continue and click on save. Again, add another file. How much you have? Google Apps. Go to the same external sort and enter the same ID RR and click on save. Again, add the patch file if you have. Uh, where I have? Yes, here is dark camera patch. Again, go to the external sort RR and then continue and then click on save. Okay, we have done this all three. Now just click on that tick button. Now this process is a bit longer process because it takes some time to make a flashable zip file for custom ROM in your secondary storage device. That is on external device you will be able to switch between the ROMs and your this recursion remix will be running from external storage instead of device partition so wait for that 
and after completing this I will be right back okay here we have completed all these three files has been patched now I can go to the settings oh sorry go to rooms and click on this primary three dot and click on this update remix click three or four times so that it will say that updating remix so you need to wait a little bit and now here just click on reboot later and now go to the quick reboot pro and now again go to the recovery mode okay i am rebooting into recovery mode again you can see here now what we will do is we will just install that those patch zip file one by one so click on this install and make sure your storage is micro sd card or your file location now go to the file location where i have saved okay dual boot patch oh sorry there is under custom rom for p5 now you need to flash the file with slot rr all only slot rr that means it will this file will be installed on external sd slot so this is my file I will just pass it just swipe it and start pressing now here you will see what it says it is saying it is running multi-boot patcher here you can see sorry for the bad quality because I don't have professional camera I am using mobile phone so focus is not working properly so this will take a bit long time and now i will be back after when it complete flashing okay here you can see that the rom installation process has been started like this i am installing rr so here you can see 2 to 5610 megabytes has been created dot image file has been created at external multi boot external sword rr and system.img so it is the working process it will grab the file from external sd card and pass the system to run on external device